It is my pleasure to welcome you to 30 minutes of fun and relaxation. On Visual Impressions today, you're going to be entertained and also inspired. We are in the art world, so stick around. If you want to laugh, it's better you laugh to the radio. <laughs> Going into arts is just going after my passion. When I work, it's, I enjoy my work. It's almost a to do me. But it is not more prestigious to be a doctor than to be an artist. You should do your research on it. I did photography. I talk photography. I do photography. Everything about me is photography. Visual impressions. Uploading creativity in the arts. Over the weekend, I went to see a unique exhibition. Yes, I call it a unique exhibition because I'm used to seeing two and three dimensional paintings and sculptures that focus their attention on women, talking about market women, mother and child, and so on. But the pictures I'm about to show you were taken by very sensitive photographers and they titled the exhibition Like a Virgin. Take a look. Like a Virgin is a joint photographic exhibition by Zane Muholi, a South African, and Lucy Azubike, a Nigerian. The two ladies have dwelt on issues a lot of women would want to talk about if only people would give them listening ears. As an artist, I see um, images you know, where people don't. And um, the striking thing about what I do, to me, I don't know, that these images are so strong 
I see them, but people don't. Especially uh, that of women. You know, women. You know, our society has um, a kind of influence on women, which make, makes them to um, pretend about their state. In as much as they cry inside, the wounds within are not something we can easily see, but through my trees and some of my works, they tend to come on the surface. We are able to see, I am able to see those, uh, those effects, those emotional traumas on the trees. Though physically absent, Zanel's work centers on women's bodies and sexuality. The Center for Contemporary Art offered this exhibition hall for this great showing because it believes that women should stand up for their rights. Like a Virgin is from Madonna, the musician's 1984 um, hit. And Madonna was also what launched the image of the entertainer that we saw. She went away, she actually changed completely the way in which we consider you know, um, women entertainers. And looking at the word virgin, women are always held up as these pure beings that are there to be adored and looked at. Yes, they are. But at the same time, women, women are also experiencing a lot of difficulties in society, which people don't seem to want to talk about. This is an opportunity for them to talk about it. Many who spoke on camera say, it is high time such social issues are talked about in the open. This exhibition is what I usually call exhibiting the underwear. This exhibition mirrors what our silent pains are, that we keep quiet about them. This exhibition mirrors what lives with us that we don't talk about. Yes, everybody's sexuality is a personal thing. But within that personal, within that personal, we find that a lot of people suffer, which is what this young lady has decided to show. The suffering that she has been going through, she's showing that I'm a human being just like you. I feel, I cry, I laugh, I pay my taxes, I bleed, I weep, I do everything like a normal person does, but my sexuality does not define me. What defines me is I'm a human being. You need to decide on your own identity, who you want to be, and look for ways to actually achieve your potential. I'm actually quite excited about the whole thing. It's um, very graphical, very almost shocking, but at the same time it's refreshing in its own way. Yeah. Like a virgin has brought to the fore the complexity of the lives of women. Zanel and Lucy are encouraging women to rise above vulnerability and contribute their own quarter to the development of the African continent. The role of the artist is to bring issues to the public and allow people to react the way they want. During the interactive session talking about the exhibition day, I noticed some people's cultural and religious sensibilities were offended. But I think we should look beyond that. I think we should appreciate and stand up for the female gender. Yes. It's the visual impressions, let's unwind. <laughs> I travel to London to do masters for one year and you come back with an accent, it makes me uncomfortable. Right? Now, one thing that most bad is one thing they do is that they employ girls, all those girls or guys that will finish school and go to London just to pay out. Right? They, they those ones that are always around communications, you understand? Know, they call you, hello, after one year. The accent just changed. Now, they called me for their for one of the dinners they had. They, 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 they asked the girl to call me. She was like, "Hello, is this pastor now?" I'm like, "Yes, yes." And um, actually, Mr. Tokumba, <laughs> Mr. Tokumba, I'm calling from XX Bank, and we're doing some on Friday. You free Friday? You free? I said yes, I'm free. For my mind, money, no. Like, 
So Friday, you say between 7 and 10 p.m. I've never seen you perform before, but yeah, I've heard you quite good, and you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with you. Now, uh, it's a small game, very short, very precise. Uh, you're going to be doing stand up comedy and also I got an event. Uh, now, I need to ask you, how much do you charge for events like that? I'm like, okay, uh, it's two million now. For what is it now? <laughs> Today on our ABC of our segment, we have someone who we add some spice to our relationships by talking to us about artistic arrangement of flowers. Over now to you, Amy. Definitely have seasonal colors. I mean, I think for Easter, yellow and green are fabulous colors. Like, we have some wonderful yellow flowers here, but um, there tends to be that sort of seasonal change. But it goes with, you know, spring, and then in winter, which is the Christmas season, people go for darker reds, or they go for gold. They also go for green then, but you know, the gold colors, the dark reds, very rich colors around Christmas time. If you want something very special, the first thing you have to think about is making sure you get a nice glass. I think that's the biggest mistake people make, is that they want a special arrangement, but they don't have the right vase to set it in. The vase is as important as the flowers. You then think about the type of arrangement. Are you going to make a tall one or a short one? What is the shape you're going to make it for? If you want it to be really special, you can even go and you know see where in the house the person could put the arrangement, because you want to do something really special. And then you have to do something that reflects the person's character. Is the person a very classical type of you know beauty? Do they you know tend to be more traditional? In which case, you make them a classic sort of arrangement with a classic shape, very full, with lots of flowers. You know they'll really appreciate very strong aroma. Whereas the person you know younger, more wacky, who's more you know into very modern style, then you do something with you know lots of greenery and lots of shapes and you can twist the flowers to make a really beautiful sort of artistic arrangement. And that way you can get something that will appeal, you know, depending on who you're getting it from. This is a nice thing. You send someone a single rose with a cute little bear, and that's a very classic gift, but it's very popular because it really shows you care about someone. But maybe for someone without a very high budget, you can get something like this for less than 500. Okay, I'm going to do something. Yes. Um, if it's someone you don't really know so well, you're trying to get her attention. Okay. Get a buzzing. I think it depends on what you're trying to say, but if you really are serious about this person, we have an I love you rose, so you can send an I love you rose wrapped in uh, cellophane and with ribbons, and that will send a very clear message. I think she'll get the message after she receives that. You can send this also. I think this is something you can, you can even send this to a friend. You see, this is what's nice about this. But the I love you rose is a bit more serious. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Okay, you know I love you just to tell you that I still love you. Exactly. But this one is, okay, I've been admiring you. For a long, For time. A long time. Now I'm <laughs> going to take this opportunity <laughs> to let you know how I feel. Exactly. Oh, That's true. what Valentine is about. Yeah. Um, another really classic gift is sending a bear. I think, you know, everybody, and this is something a lot of Nigerians want to send bears as well. And I think there's no problem with that. You can send a bear with a bouquet of flowers or with chocolates or something like that. And that's also a very nice, affordable way to show your affection. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Okay, this is classic. This, I think, is something for a fun young person, you know, something they can keep on their desk. You can send it to them in the office, and, you know, they'll be able to show people this, like, funky gift yes, that they it's, got it's nice. for Valentine. It's nice. <laughs> it's unique. Um, I prefer this to this. You prefer this? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, if your special friend is watching, he knows where to go. <laughs> Um, another nice thing you can send is an arrangement in a vase. And, you know, you can go all out or you can, I mean, you could start with something relatively modest like this. Remember I was saying you start with a really nice vase, something that's very unique and different and complements the flowers that you're using. So that's a nice, cute little arrangement that's affordable that anybody can just send. And you can have that delivered. 
Um, this is another cute little arrangement. It will easily sit on the desk and, you know, it just shows your affection without being overpowering. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you want to send something that's much more eye-catching and really so it makes a statement if you think you're in a competi competitive situation okay. <laughs> then you might want to send something like this I mean I think pink is really overlooked at yeah. Valentine but you know you're sending it to a lady she's classical she's beautiful send her something like this it's really different very eye-catching and she'll keep it for the whole year and there's no way she can walk into a room without noticing this arrangement <laughs> She'll be here, the exactly. <laughs> She'll be on the phone immediately. I mean, you can get some really beautiful vases. Get a really, don't be afraid to use a really big vase mm -hmm. and just do something really original with it. And it's really eye catching. And this arrangement, you do this, you keep it for a couple of months, and then you can do something, a huge arrangement with fresh flowers or something like that. It's really versatile. But big vases, I love using big vases all over my house because you can do everything with them. Yeah. What are these? This is just dried oranges. You just dry them and they and they and you can dry them. This is whole and this is sliced. Mm -hmm. And it's a special process called freeze drying, which is process of uh, drying them and it, they retain the color they retain the aroma for a short time but they stay like that perfectly preserved for up to two years yes. yeah and you can do it with anything right now we have the oranges there we have apples um, these grapes are synthetic but you can do it with almost anything you know as the as the seasons progress you'll see we start to bring in lots of different vegetables and fruits that we fruit that we freeze dried now this is really nice as well this is really classic it's another thing that you can just put on the desk this is much more of a european style gift but i like it because it's very original okay, it's, it's very unique yeah you, it's, you know anywhere. you won't see it anywhere else it's a really easy thing to send somebody maybe you're not sure you don't know them that well but you want to send them something different yeah. you know and you want to not you know to stick to the usual red rose this is a really nice alternative very european style you know like this is like a very classic shape and you've just added the little heart and the ribbon and it really sends a beautiful message and you can send this i'd recommend sending about three of these in a box and it looks just stunning and it's very nice again it's very affordable you know i was talking about candles yeah. and i was talking about using fruits and using hearts and ribbons well this combines all of them in an arrangement so this is one way in which you can use real artistry to bring together a very unique piece. And, yeah. you know, you send this just, instead of sending a bouquet, you send something like this. Um, this is a classic bouquet. And fresh flowers. fresh flowers. And I know you, you wanted to you wanted me to show you something unique, so I'm not showing you just the roses. So this is using um, lilies, it's using greenery, um, and it's using um, yellow and white, obviously, as predominant colors. Now, this is wonderful. If someone's getting married or you, uh, you want to get a present for someone in your family, this is a wonderful bouquet to send. And this you can actually send to a man or a woman. And here we just have um, a selection of fresh flowers flowers that we have at the moment the classic red rose and then you have um, white roses we also get yellow roses and um, pink roses so you can really you know mix it up a bit you don't have to use just red roses okay something about fresh flowers um, my friends, you know, when they are getting married, very fresh mm -hmm. flowers. It looks so nice, but before the end of the day, oh my God, the lovely flowers just wither. <laughs> How long is a um, yeah, fresh flower supposed to last? They're supposed to last. Um, up to a week sometimes 10 days depending on the condition so the, we get our, our flowers from a range of farms we make sure that, the, that we collect them within 24 hours of them being cut, that's important then once you collect them you have to make sure that the atmosphere you keep them in is, is correct um, one of the important things is flower food um, so whenever we sell flowers, we sell the flower food with it and you just put the flower food into the vase and mix it with the water and that will help to preserve the flowers. The temperature is very important, the type of air conditioning system. Like we have special air conditioners that don't dry out the air too much so the flowers are always getting moisture. If you can keep them in a cool atmosphere though, that also helps. The other important thing is I always tell people, water your flowers every day. Fresh flowers need water every day so don't just leave it. Sprinkle. 
pulls on each one. No, no, you pour water into the vase. So you can see, just you can see the shadow of how much water we have in that vase. You know, don't be afraid of putting in too much water. Now, plants are completely different. Plants, the worst thing you can do is overwater a plant. And plants here, if you just water them once or twice a week, it's no problem. A lot of you may get flowers delivered to you at work. Try and put them into water straight away. That's what some people, you know, they, they wait till lunchtime or even wait till the end of the day, then the flowers won't last. So try and put them in water straight away. If they're fresh flowers? If they're fresh. Oh, no, no, if they're fresh flowers only, yeah, try and put them into water straight away. Um, if you can, make sure that when you're handling the flowers, you don't handle the petals, okay, because they're very sensitive. When you're handling the stem, be very gentle so you don't break the stem or you don't damage the stem in any way and when you're holding the stem make sure you hold it upright and try not to let the stem of one flower touch the petal of another flower which is a bit do you see what I mean like when we handle flowers here you take this rose you know when you lift it up like this you try you don't let the water from the rose drip onto the petals that's not that's really bad for the flowers so you just have to be very gentle they're very delicate but if they're handled properly they can last you a week most of our clients are women thing but you also get a lot of men who love plants you know men love filling their houses with plants or having a cactus plant or something in the office that's been very popular we're giving it as a gift yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> oh, if you give it, I yeah. think if you give, if you give a man a very um, masculine plant for his office, there may be flowers, you know, lots of plants flower once or twice a year. I think he'll really appreciate it. So this is what I was saying. If you're looking for a masculine gift, yeah. then you can send a cactus. Cactuses are wonderful things to have in the office. They're very good at detoxifying the air. They create a really nice atmosphere because they add greenery you have you know if you have the right vase and you have the right decoration a plant is as, is as attractive as a bouquet of flowers so much for making our time to watch visual impressions today that's our offering and i hope you had a swell time <laughs> my name is chioma okwara join me same time next week but remember to be creative with all you do